and welcome to our first ever episode of News to Gamers Extra. It's our spin-off show where we discuss all the hot topics that's going on in the gaming world. And our first episode is going to be about pre-3, Lee's decided to call it, haven't you? I have, yes. E3 and all the excitement that's going on and, you know, the rumour mill, obviously we want to talk about EA, PlayStation, Xbox, it's all going to be included in this show. Um, and I'm joined by my co-host, Lee Hunt. You're going to be How's a permanent fixture of News to Gamers Extra, aren't you? I am. I it's am. exciting. I'm going to be here in this spot I'm every week. I'm so hyped to have you here. I'm stoked about it. It's going to be awesome. And we've got an awesome guest, haven't we? We have, yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to let you introduce him. Well, do you know what? This, this guy right here uh, is, is a, a Twitch personality. You probably recognise him more than you recognise me, which isn't good. We'll have a conversation about that afterwards. <laughs> this is Dangelous, not just Dangelous Rocks that you can see on your screen. Dangelous Rocks! Wow. Yes. Wow, what an introduction. There you go. <laughs> good to have you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks for that. Excellent. That was, that was epic. You, you've, uh, you've, you've got a good following on Twitch, haven't you? It's, um, yeah, it's come about quickly, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've, you've developed it quite early on, haven't you? Well, you've been going about a year or something? Yeah, now? 14 months. I started in February 2015 and basically just started up just the stream, went up. up, and yeah, it's, just, it's blown up really quickly, a lot of catching up going on. You're, uh, you're very witty, aren't you, on your streams? You're, uh, you're very good at knows. shooting people down, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I've noticed. Yeah, right. I yeah. found that out the hard way today as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see more of that. It's more uh, of a console gamer as well, and obviously yeah. talking about E3, it's more console game yeah. orientated Xbox, than, than some of the... PS4. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, you've got so you've got a lot to add to this, then, haven't you? I hope so. Yeah. We're going to speculate on the speculation of the rumours. That's exactly that's <laughs> confused me, but yes, that that's what's going to happen. Let's do that. Let's kick it off with Sony. Okay. PlayStation. Um, now, of course, the PlayStation 4.5 or Neo, as it's being codenamed. It's like something like the Matrix, isn't it? It it's is. Like the whole bullet time. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. what what can we expect? Why why are PlayStation doing this? Do we think? I think I think it's a bit of a strange one. Um, I mean, it, it harps back to me for for the days of like the Mega Drive launching the Mega CD, yeah, and the 32X. And yeah. it's, I mean, we all know how well those did. Oh yeah, you know, seriously, yeah, brilliant. Of course, yeah. um, I, I think it's a bit of a weird one because there's there's a whole are you going to fragment your audience? Um, is the stuff that the Neo can do that the PS4 can't? And despite everything that they say about everything has to work seamlessly between the two. At what yeah, point do exactly. you then go, well, where's the point in doing it? Yeah, I mean, you know, is there going to be uh, features that, you know, are really going to change PlayStation's view on gaming and the way they're going to be developed? And, you know, I mean, obviously 4K is now a, a big thing and it's getting bigger and bigger. And uh, instead of paying two and a half grand for one, we're paying six, seven hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, that's, that's true. But I think there might be a VR integration as well. Do you yeah, think it will help I, with that? Yeah, I think because PlayStation is doing its, its its big VR drop and what it has in its in its court that is going to help it and support it is that it has it's going to link it with the console. What a lot of the VR don't have is a console to yeah, work with. And PlayStation are going to do that. So if they integrate their VR into the new console, it could be more appealing. A concern for me as someone who is a console streamer is price. We've yeah. already, just a yeah. couple of years ago, we already bought new next-gen consoles for quite expensive prices. So yeah, Exactly, so where's is, this one stands? Is it going to be worth the money? Are they going to, you know, will we buy it? Are the features going to be enough for us to, to, to thirst for it? But of course, they, they could do all this with, with Neo, and I will forgive them instantly if they announce The Last, last of Us 2. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. You can charge me double, Sony. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and as long know, as it goes with Last of Us Two, it's fine. It's perfect time for for Sony to actually back something like that. You know, I mean, Naughty Dog now after Uncharted that comes out, you know, next week, um, they've got something to build on now, and obviously. Last of Us came after the Uncharted's and they learned a lot of lessons and obviously Uncharted 4 is learning from The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now Naughty Dog have, have got this new base to bring something more innovative and I guess with a, a, a new release of a, a console edition as well, yeah, which it, would be pretty would be good. Nice. It would be nice. I think the other thing for me as well is that Sony have got a lot to live up to this year because I think yeah. last year they went into it with... There was kind of no expectation because it was kind of like, well, what what have Sony got this year? Yeah, and then they yeah. hit you with bang, Last Everything. Guardian, bang, yeah. Final Fantasy VII, bang, Shenmue Three, and you were just like, 
Everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what you've got. That's that's pretty that's, well done. Well, that's so. it. And I mean, this this year as well, Sony Santa Monica. Um, you yeah. know, they're working on new projects. You know, God of War as yeah. well. You know, so yeah. they're bringing their 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 first uh, you know generation of gaming back to to new gens, and, and that's Absolutely. what we want to see. You know, massive. And, and you're you you've been talking about a new order, haven't you? You you really want to yeah. see something along those lines again. You know, the order um, was a big game and I really yeah. enjoyed it. Short, but you know. I, I bought a, I bought an Xbox years before I got a PS4 and then I got my PS4 uh, late 2015 and put the order on and it blew away the previous year's experience <laughs> yeah. of Xbox. I was surprised by the graphics. So seeing a, another, yeah, an enhancement to that would be it, massive. It'd be nice. Yeah. It would be good. Mm -hmm. and I'd be, I'd be well on board for that. Yeah, yeah <clears throat> definitely. But definitely. obviously, I mean, we're talking about hardware that we think is going to be there mm. in terms of the Neo and yet Nintendo have come out last week and said that Nintendo are not going to show the NX. Yeah, which... Weird one. It, it is weird, but do you think it's a very strategic move? Because for them now to just go, yes, we've got the mobile gaming, you know, they've delayed uh, Legend of Zelda, actually, um, which we're going to show, um, yeah. now for release on NX. And I mean, graphically, I mean... Yeah, well, this is, this is the, um, the, the Nintendo Direct broadcast, um, the, the Wii U footage of, of Zelda. I mean, I'm a massive Zelda fan. So when they came out and said the only game that we're going to show at E3 is Legend of Zelda, yeah. I was kind of like, <laughs> fine. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let, me, let me know where to put the money down for a plane ticket over. The, to happily, me, that, that doesn't look like Wii U graphic. That does look more advanced to me. Yeah, personally. I think this is one of those um, kind of CGI cutscene things. Not, yeah, yeah. Not, not representative of the actual game. But I mean, just looking at it, I mean, it's, it's Zelda at the end of the yeah. day. So for me, it's, it's, you can, it's got my money. But. You can recognise a lot of Zelda in it, but it also looks completely refreshing. Like that, that's this little PC is extremely refreshing. To see that come out on the NX could be really exciting. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I think one of the things as well is when I remember way back when Nintendo announced the Wind Waker, Zelda Wind Waker, and it was all cell shaded and cartoony, and everybody, the, the entire internet, such as it was at the time, me included, went, "Whoa, <laughs> what <laughs> yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Stop! Yeah. That well, is not it. Zelda." Yeah. And yeah, it came out, and it was just like, okay, yeah. Miyamoto, you, yeah, you, you're a genius. You did, you did good. That's why you, you make games and I don't. So yeah. brilliant. But. You know, I mean, NX as well. I mean, you know, obviously now they've said March 2017. Yeah. Um, kits are already out to developers and, and publishing so. and stuff, um, according to NeoGAF. Um, but what, what, what are we going to see? What can we expect? I, I mean, it's a confusing one. There's been a lot of prototypes and, um, you know, screenshots going around that... Were some were fake, others yeah. are questionable still. But I think I think the the thing with the NX for me is that Nintendo spent a lot of time chasing the casual dollar with the Wii, yeah, and they alienated yeah. so much of their core audience that when they then came along with the Wii U, which its biggest thing was, oh look, it's a tablet that interacts with your console. It's just well. It's 2013. We've already got tablets that interact with our consoles. So it's yeah. not a new thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, too much of the Wii audience was kind of like, is this an add-on for my Wii or is it something new? I don't know. And to be honest, you haven't done a good enough job of impressing no, me I enough mean, to find out about well, it. Well, that's so. it. And, and to retailers as well, they didn't really know how to sell it, did no, they? No, they didn't. Because I don't the, think anybody knew really no. what it was and what the gimmick no. was or anything. But yet, at the same time, you look at the Wii U, and the number of classic must-play exclusive yeah, games on there. Big time. You can, this, the list is endless. With the Mario games, there's Mario 3D World, there's Mario Kart, there's Smash Brothers, there's Pikmin 3, there's Captain Toad, there's I Yoshi's really, Woolly Yarns. Well, that's it. You know, I really want them to go back there's to the 101. N64 days. There's Bayonetta. I could keep going. You can keep, keep going. going. You, 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 you all keep going. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. we, were we were discussing briefly earlier on how Nintendo also hasn't developed many mature titles uh, yeah. for the Wii U. Yeah, really true. I, I remember the last few mature titles that Nintendo did were for the GameCube and we were discussing Resi some 4. of those. Yeah, and... Um, Eternal Darkness. Which was, one of the, I think, one of the best Eternal games. Darkness. That was amazing. And yeah. for me, I'd like to see Nintendo return to that to get into that market a bit more as well as, you know, family favourites, yeah. but also yeah. get to some of the more mature content. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, if, if anybody hasn't played Eternal Darkness, that oh, was the game that... It's a great game. It was. It was dur during points of the game, it would turn your volume up on your TV. It would just do some really weird things that creeped you out. It's yeah. scary. It was, really scary. It? it was legitimately <laughs> yeah, atmospheric. I mean, you know, I just, I just hope Nintendo have learned the lessons, dropped the gimmicks, you know, it's all right. It, it's great being innovative, but hmm. do it in the right ways. I mean, look at the N64 and GameCube. Yeah. N64 is still my favourite yeah. console. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, 
you know, just putting that cartridge in and feeling damn good when you did, mm -hmm. and then seeing it come on screen, it, it mm -hmm. just come alive, and it really made you immerse into every game. I mean, Banjo Kazooie, you know, um, you had that make platformers like that, and that's what that's happened true, with yeah. Nintendo. That's true. You know, they brought all these amazing platformers, and then obviously they did go to the more adult side mm -hmm. with Resi and Eternal Darkness and stuff mm. like that. And that's what I want Nintendo to go back to. Yeah, I, I think you know. I think the, the the market is screaming out for a, for an alternative to PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah, and yeah. Nintendo have got such an incredible ability to. Just, just make the most innovative video games. Their that, back catalogue oh, is it's sensational, it's it endless, really is. It's just, incredible. It really is. Um, well, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to talk publishers. Right. We've got a lot to talk about yes. as well. So, yeah, we'll be right back after this, guys, where we're going to be talking about the latest from Call of Duty, Battlefield, and one of Lee's favourites, Titanfall 2. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to News to Gamers Extra. It's our first episode of our spin-off show where we talk about the hottest topics in the gaming world. We're talking pre-3, aren't we? We've gone through quite a lot, but what I want to go into as well is what I want to see what you think about Xbox, see what Microsoft are going to bring to stage this year. Yeah, it's a big one for them. It is. They've, they've got some catching up to do. They um, have PS4 a lot. Seems, to be, uh, seems to be on the trend at the moment. Yeah. Um, obviously, we, we know... Uh, about Neo, PS4.5, PS4K, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some kind of hardware revision from Microsoft. Yeah, I don't know if we can read much into it, but PlayStation's, you know, announced it's going to do some upgrades, and then before you, you know, it, Microsoft are like, yeah, we'll, we'll do some yeah, as well. To be, yeah. To be fair, know. they teased it way back in February, I think oh. it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I missed that, that one. Oh, okay. that. Oh, I'm, I'm just, just, <laughs> that. Yeah. No, there was there was a speech. Um, I, I'm not sure if it was Major Nelson or if it was Phil Spencer or somebody. Mm did drop something into a conversation about potential hardware revisions and things so I, i'm not i'm not sure they have been entirely left behind okay yeah i mean it, you know that they have said that it's more than just an upgraded controller this time so yeah. you know i mean what i've struggled to understand is he, that the power that the xbox has got and they're really struggling with all the 1080s you know the 1080p the, the frames per second you know I, I know that they have games that are, that are at that rate, but it seems that they struggle so much, and I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not a massive technical person, to be honest, to understand exactly why it is that they're that they're struggling to to get some of those um, you know aspect ratios and, and yeah. frame rates right. At the end of the day, I'm I'm a gamer, and for me, it's all about the games. So if yeah. they keep throwing yeah. games like Forza Horizon 2 at me. Quantum well, break. you know, you know I'm scale brand, scale bound. Yeah, I'm expecting awesome. to be there, which looks great. Uh, Recall, hopefully, some more on that. Yeah, crackdown, um, crackdown as well. Yeah. Mm. Um, There's definitely some good games that they're going to have going in. Obviously, they've got that string in the bow with with backwards compatibility. So exactly, decent yeah. an, an, uh, announcement of back compat titles. Well, you know, hopefully, some more games will be making on there, like Red Dead, which everyone is talking about. Um, yeah, which brings us on to Take Two. Actually, yeah. they're well, going to be at E3 for the gonna first be, time yeah. ever. They are going to be there. This is the most like. They are the, the the developer publisher for me. Like I, I can't wait to see them. If they you know. if they if they booked out a conference or if they did any kind of anything at all of any kind of presentation where they had somebody anybody walk out on the stage and say Red Dead Redemption Two. That's Drop it. the mic. That's it. Do you know what? That's, that's, all, I, they, that's, that's all I need E3's to do. E3's fixed. Yes. Yeah. It's just the yeah. best E3 ever. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's there's rumours of obviously Red Dead, the map was leaked. Yeah. Um, I think it's too early for GTA 6. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. It is. I think if they're gonna if they're gonna put out a Red Dead, they're also gonna go big. This is next gen, first Red Dead on next gen. Yeah. It's gonna be massive. It's, gonna it's be gotta huge. be yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be phenomenal. Huge. If it's that is the be... announcement they're gonna drop. Boom, done. That's it, yeah. E3 is done. Yeah. Absolutely. But then we're talking about massive in terms of scope. <sighs> Call of Duty? Ah, uh, yeah. Space? I mean, yeah. infinite warfare. <laughs> infinite warfare. But to sweeten the deal, there's a remaster. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, I will be honest to the viewers, and a lot of you will probably hate me and potentially throw me some abuse on Twitter. I'm not a COD fan anymore. But if that remaster comes out, of modern warfare, I will be all over that like a rash. I think I think the really scary thing that if I was working in marketing or any kind of development at Activision, the scariest thing is is that 
everybody's far more excited about, oh my God, Call of Duty 4 remastered yeah. than yeah. they are about, what, it's like Infinite Warfare? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever. God, yeah. Give me that. Yeah. I want the Legacy Edition, but only because Modern That's Warfare. It. Yeah. Yeah. Forza. You know, I just hope they don't try and integrate it into oh, Infinite no, no, no. Warfare. You know? Just not. give us the game separately. You know? It's well, also a nervous it. time for Infinity War because their last game release was Cod Ghosts, and let's face yeah. it, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't very yeah. good. That's so, right. That's you know, right. Come back big, come back strong. You know, I just want to see an end to the future now. Yeah. I really do. Because um, at the end of the day, if it's if it's the future, it needs to be kind of like Star Wars or something, something like Battlefront, yeah, and yeah. it doesn't need to go this whole like jumpy round jetpack. No, of. no, yeah, I'm just jumping around that. like nuts. And I don't want it. Although Star Wars, we're talking Star Wars, EA. Amy Henning. But yeah, exactly. Previously of, uh, of Naughty Dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just interested because EA aren't actually going to be at E3 this year. So no, they're, the first not, time, well, they're not. They're not on the show floor. They're going to do a the EA Play event, aren't they? Before Bethesda, aren't they? Yeah, so it's the 12th of June. So they're doing one in LA and one in London. So yeah. I'm going to bet that they're going to announce FIFA. I think they I don't might, know. Do you might do something to do with Madden. A bit Possibly, NHL. Yeah, maybe even NBA Live. Oh wow! Do you know what? Oh, it's you a big, big it year. First, it's know? a big year for EA. There you go. But they in all seriousness, there's Battlefield coming now. Yeah, they've they've announced Battlefield already, which is amazing. Yeah, I'm um, very excited for that. There's um, Mass Effect Andromeda as well. You're really excited for this, I aren't am. you? I am. Do you know what? Mass Effect One was was not really my sort of thing. Mass Effect Two, after my brother convinced me to play it, blew me away. I think everybody was kind of a little bit uh, about Mass Effect 3, but Andromeda is a great opportunity, I think, for them to uh, to reboot it. So um, we've got a trailer as well. Oh, Let's have we a love trailers. We are travelers. Constantly moving forward. And looking back. Alone and as one. We have no choice but to try. For our insatiable curiosity. For our fear of what should happen if we don't. You are that explorer now. We will say goodbye. And you will look back one last time. And know that wherever you go, we will be with you. This is Commander Shepard, signing off. Mass Effect Andromeda. Wow. Yes. I I've got to say like like that. that. Yeah. I really do. I really, really it do. It does look good. It, it does. does look very good. It does. I'm excited for it. And uh, and hopefully we'll get a load more information about that at yeah. E3. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, EA have got other games going for it. Titanfall 2 as well. You know, yeah. hopefully, you know, with swords apparently. Um, yeah. Which appeared in that trailer, that, yeah. that little teaser trailer they showed. Are we, we going to try and put some more excitement into Titanfall 2? No, we're not. No, we're no. Not. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Let's jump on to, uh, very quickly, Ubisoft. Yeah, Watch Dogs 2 potentially? Yeah, quite possibly Watch Dogs 2. No um, Assassin's Creed this year? No, no AC. Obviously, there's a movie coming out. Yeah, um, um, so, Michael Fassbender. Yeah, I assume we're going to see a trailer of some description. Maybe, yeah, maybe. it'd be smarter than to throw that up front, see, get, get, you know, get the Assassin's yeah. Creed fans excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit definitely. weird, actually, going into an E3 and not having... An Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed. Yeah. very. Yeah. But I think it's a good move from them because they've realised their mistakes. Uh, you know, they came out and admitted everything mm. they did wrong with Unity. Yeah. Fixed a lot of that with Syndicate, Syndicate which was, was really good. I absolutely love Syndicate. I really and do. hopefully now they're going to go away, come back with something really big, really powerful, you know, and, and on it for Ubisoft. Mm. I'd, I'd love to see. I'd love to see a Rayman. Another yeah, the Rayman game. Ghost Recon Wildlands yeah. as well. Yeah, Ghost Recon, which looks absolutely it awesome. Looks it really looks does. amazing. The other little rumour that's going around at the moment, doing the rounds on Tinterweb, is um, Beyond Good and Evil 2. And there's yes. little talks about Nintendo having that as an NX exclusive, like doing another Bayonetta. If, if they have done that, that's big for NX. That's, that's it. That's big. But it, I know that the, the original producer of uh, Beyond Good and Evil actually said, like, you know, look, we are making it, but it's got to be good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, Beyond Good and Evil, for me, if you haven't played it, is just one of the best video games in the last 20 yeah. years. It really You've is. You've got it's to get on it. It's a great fantastic. game. It's really good. Um, before we wrap up, Bethesda. Yeah. All the scrolls. You've got, yes. It's got to be all the scrolls. Yeah, historically, if you look through it, it's mm. got to be... 
It's, I think this is, if they're, gonna, if they're not going to announce it this year, I'd be surprised what else they've got to back up. Either they announce something brand new or they drop Elder Scrolls. And again, the same effect as Red Dead. People will be Over hyped. the moon. Yeah, yeah done. big time. But yeah. could we see the return of Quake? Maybe. Mm. That's a good one. It's yeah, an interesting show. It's an interesting show, yeah. It is an interesting show. Evil Within 2, maybe. Yeah, yeah I, see, I, I enjoyed yeah. Evil Within. I thought yeah, it was, it was, it was a very Genuine good game. Very yeah. unique, very different. And also, uh, there's an Elder Scrolls uh, Legends, which is a oh, card game like Hearthstone. Of course, yeah. yeah. Drop in, that yeah. could be, see what that's right, about. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe. fingers right. crossed anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's shaping up already to be an amazing E3. Half-Life 3. I bet oh, you any money, it's but, not going to happen. No, I'll tell you why. Because the director isn't even there anymore. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just um, tear it up now? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get rid of that one. There you go, Half-Life, we can have that. Um, but, you know, as much as I really enjoyed Half-Life 2, um, I, I do think... It was left at such a cliffhanger, though. The it end was. of it. It's just like, no, we give us to see something, something big. There you go. <laughs> do, do, you wanna, do you want to cuddle? I, I, I don't need a cuddle because I'm sure. living by the fact that okay. once upon a time Shenmue 3 was never going to happen. But, but and it's then happening. Sony came to the rescue. Yeah. So I now, did. Microsoft, if you're watching, please just, just Half Life 3. I'll love you forever. That'll be it. Before we'll change we end, the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> N2G Xbox Stra. Before we before we end, um, just going back to Titan Two very quickly. Which stage do you think they're going to appear on? Now they've got a big rapport with with Sony. Yeah, they have. Although there was that whole Red Dead Red, De Red Dead Redemption back compatibility leak on Xbox 360. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. It would benefit Tossicon. them. Yeah. Yeah, it benefit uh, yeah. Xbox more, but Sony, yeah. of course. I think it depends who's willing to put the checkbook up yep. at the end of the day. Definitely. Yep. Well, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to our first episode of News to Gamers Extra. Dangerous Rocks, where can people check you out on Twitch? Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Dangerous Rocks. And, and you've got the Rock House, haven't you? Rocks! Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the Rock House is my community. And yeah, come come check me out. Say hello. Uh, show Buy, some a love. Buy a t shirt. Buy a t shirt. He's got, I got a t shirt. I got t shirts now. Yeah. Um, right, so that's the end of the show. You're going to catch myself, Lee, and Dangerous Rocks on iTunes, where we've got our first ever News to Gamers podcast, where we're going to really go into depth with some of the stuff we've talked about tonight on the show. And tune in next week from 10.30 Wednesday, where we'll be covering some awesome new footage from a game we didn't expect to come out this year.